everyone, welcome to a video that is purely selfish on my part. I am making this to satisfy my own curiosity about an ad that I have seen over and over on Instagram, on Facebook. If you're there, you've seen it too. It's the Shaperman ads where you see a woman who is in her underwear and she wants to put on some sort of form-fitting dress and pulls on these Shaperman shaper like bike shorts, panty, you know, shapewear, and miraculously everything is sucked up and smoothed and perfect and she looks amazing. And I thought, okay, really? Like, I, I need to try this. So I don't know about you, but I have, over the years, accumulated quite a collection of various forms of shapewear from the Spanx brand to the Target version of Spanx brand, which I think is the Assets brand by Spanx, which is a lower price point to every kind of Spanx knockoff. I don't have the Yummy Mummy or Yummy Tummy or whatever that brand was from the uh, Heather on New York Housewives. But anyway, no matter what size a woman is, maybe I'll just speak for myself. That's the easiest thing to do. No matter what size I have been, I've always been self-conscious about my stomach. I did the cool sculpting, which did work. I'm not saying it doesn't. it didn't work. It does work if you maintain that weight, which I did not. There is a newer version of cool sculpting, by the way, that uses heat which looks pretty cool. I have not done that because I'm not maintaining my weight, so why, why do that to myself? Anyway, so always been self-conscious no matter what my weight, whether I'm a zero, two, four, kind of hovered between a four and a six recently, probably back down to a four. It's an area that I've never felt all that comfortable with, which is why I generally shy away from the form-fitting clothing in that area. But I had to try this. I just couldn't avoid it. So I went online and I ordered the Shaper Mint, the, the best seller. So I got, it seems like they're always running this, you know, it's like that ad that says, um, act now, limited time offer. This limited time offer seems to have no end in sight. It's like buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. So I ordered the best seller, I ordered two of them. So this is how it comes, well, it comes in a box, but when it comes to your house, this is how it comes packaged. It's the M Empetua. Um, rule your destiny high-waisted shaper short and I got both pairs in nude it comes in either nude or black and it says it holds everything in super comfortable stays in place all day it's 90% nylon 10% spandex just so you know how to take care of it it's machine wash cold gentle cycle line dry please no dryers do not iron and if you hear weird noises rowdy is under the table and moving chairs around as he shifts himself so you open the package it's nice. I like the packaging. And it looks like this, all folded up. Um, you know, pretty much your standard shapewear. Uh, very high waisted to suck it all up. On me, it comes just to my bra line, like just touches the bottom of my bra. Pretty thick, not overly thick, but sturdy here. Little thinner on the actual leg part. Um, the hem the bottom of the leg openings have no uh, silicone or anything underneath, just banded hemline. And then on the top, I haven't obviously worn this pair yet. The top does have, let me roll it open for you. As you can see, the top has two rows of like a silicone material that goes all the way around so that the material does not roll or ride down your torso throughout the day. So I have given these an actual test run when we went to Ole Miss. It was like, ooh, it was, it was warm. It was very warm. I was wearing a flowy dress, but I was worried that as the wind blew, it would maybe get a little bit clingy. And so I decided that that would be a good dress to give these a test run on. So I did wear them throughout the day. It was about 85 degrees and about 85% humidity. And I can tell you that they did not roll, they did not move, and they didn't really add any extra heat to the outfit. I didn't, I was just uncomfortable because it was, it was really hot. But um, I didn't feel like I was any more hot because I was wearing this extra layer. So I can tell you that um, they hold to the claim that they don't roll, they don't shift. That's all good. Now let's get to where I thought, now do they really make that big of a difference? Initially, I didn't think so. So let me insert some shots. I will um, walk you through what I did. So I don't actually own that many 
I don't really own any form fitting dresses. This is the best I could do. This is what I found in my closet. This dress that I'm wearing is almost nine years old. I bought it for my oldest son's bar mitzvah for the Friday evening portion of the celebration. So it's really old. It's no longer available. And this is the most form fitting thing I could find in my closet. And I can't believe I still even have it in my closet. So what you're first seeing is me in this dress with just no shapewear underneath. I was going to say nothing. No, I have underwear on. Um, no shapewear on underneath. And, you know, I fit in the dress. The dress, I can't, I'm, I'm looking like I can tell you what size it is. Hang on. It is, uh, it's an old BCBG dress and it is a size small. Um, and, you know, it fits, which I was frankly a little surprised. But um, it fits. I, have, I feel like I have a little belly pooch coming out there. Just ate lunch. So there you go. Um, a little uncomfortable in it. It's a little shorter than I like, and I just, you know, I don't feel my most confident in the dress. Um, so there you go. I did also take some measurements. I tried, now this isn't the most scientific and most accurate, but I took some measurements, tried to line up under my belly button the exact distance using a finger so that we have pretty standard uh, measurements throughout this video of the circumference of my gut at the widest point. So without shapewear in this dress, 32 inches is the width of my pooch. Let's just call it what it is. Okay, so that's without the shaper mint shapewear. Then let's uh, hop on over to getting this on. Um, this isn't any easier or more, or more difficult to get on than any other form of shapewear. It's uh, a little bit of a struggle, you know, it's not something you want anyone else to witness. It should be done in private. It's not your prettiest moment. So this is the same as any other shapewear. So let's hop over to me wearing it. And I was pleasantly surprised. I have to say, I came in with just so ready to make this video to tell you, eh, it doesn't work, save your money. Subjectively, I noticed my stomach looked flatter. But then, you know, I thought, okay, let's wait for the tape measure. Let's see, but you know, just kind of looking at the monitor as I was filming myself standing in front of the camera at every angle, I could, uh, I'm still subjective, but looks like, I think anyway, that in fact, it looks like the pooch is discernibly smaller. Tried to measure the exact same way, and according to my probably not so scientifically accurate measurements, I am in fact a half inch smaller in circumference, or is it diameter? I believe it's circumference. Geometry was a long time ago. Um, with the Shaperman on, 31 and a half inches in girth. So I was pleasantly surprised. I certainly felt a lot more confident. So then I thought, all right, that's all well and good, but how does this compare to the Target brand version of Spanx, Assets by Spanx? Because it's a similar price point. It's a lot more readily available. I don't have to wait to go order it online. I can just walk into Target. So obviously there's that ease of being able to walk into your local Target um, instead of waiting for it to come online. That being said, every time I personally have needed something from Target in the shapewear, they never have it in my size, but whatever, okay. And I might be comparing apples to oranges because there's different levels of compression that you can get. And I got the boy short version, so these are shorter than the shaper mint ones and i'm not sure if the compression is exactly the same it feels the same be that as it may i you are now seeing me in the target brand version and i didn't feel as confident i don't feel like it sucked me in as much there was some compression i could definitely feel that they are easier to get into there is that i don't feel like there was a panty line visible so to speak um, wearing either of them, I should say. So that was good as well. But then the true test is the tape measure. So got out my handy dandy uh, tape measure. And in fact, uh, there was less compression based on my measurements. Those only sucked me in about seven eighths of an inch. Uh, I think it was 31 and seven eighths in circumference. So the Shaper Mint most definitely sucked me in. They do, uh, the Shaper Mint, at least this particular model, comes all the way up to under my bra and comes quite lower down onto my thighs. They, they even though this dress is quite short, they aren't as long as um, the dress. So I could still wear them in a mini dress. 
Um, the boy shorts that I had on from Target, obviously they are much shorter and they didn't come up quite as high in my torso. I think that the Shaper Mint, these high-waisted ones anyway, they really did work. They are, I don't wanna say comfortable. I mean, you're compressed. They are more comfortable to wear than, I do have a pair of True Spanx, but they're the, like, they're the panty kind. Um, they're cut like panties and then they're high-waisted. And since they're so different in compression and in shape, I didn't want to compare them to, to these. Um, and those you do feel like you can't take even a full breath. So these I feel compressed just as much as the heavy duty Spanx and are far more comfortable to wear and are much, much less expensive than the Spanx. So I do feel like these work. I didn't want to think, I don't know. I don't know why I had such a negative bias. Maybe because they were so hyped up on the internet and the videos just make them seem far too good to be true. So I so wanted to, de to debunk it. And um, I mean, I didn't have the same miraculous transformation, but I, I don't know. I don't know what I expected, but they do work. The shipping was very fast. I haven't had to return them, so I can't speak to the return policy. There are quite a few other options as far as um, cut, well, there's two colors, nude or black, but as far as shape, like design, like boy shorts, panties, high-waisted, regular waisted, there are a lot of other options if this particular cut and style is not your thing, compression levels. I was pleasantly surprised and happy that I now own two pairs of these and and it was worth it. I think I paid $23, I wanna say, is the price that's in my head, for the one pair. And just something I'm noticing on this tag, it does say, um, it's the high-waisted shaper short, and it says, remember, you're already gorgeous. Which I think is kind of nice. And I do wanna close with, I don't think that you need to wear shapewear to feel beautiful. Um, I don't want this to be like a size shaming thing or, that you have to be a certain size or shape to be considered beautiful or confident. This is always, as everything that has to do with appearance, a completely individual thing. And for me personally, if it's a little bit of compression wear, it's gonna make me feel a little more self-confident about myself, I'm down with that. Down, not done. Down with that. That's, I have no problem with that. If you don't care, Kudos to you. I'm not there yet. I'm not that evolved. So um, that being said, I would say if you're curious about Shaper Mint, is that what it, I've been calling it that for an entire video? Yes, that is what it's called. Um, I can confidently say go for it. I've been happy with it. There are no affiliate links in this video um, for this anyway. Um, I should have led with that. So I'm not getting anything out of this. If you buy it, don't buy it. I don't doesn't matter to me, but in case you were curious, I just wanted to share my experience with you and let you know. So that was it. Let me know if you tried these um, or anything from this line, this brand, what's your experience, what do you think? And also, if there's anything else on the internet floating around that you're, you've are you been curious about that you want me to check out for you, debunk, what have you, this is kind of fun. It's a little, a little different from my usual video, but I enjoyed it. I, I do I do get curious about some of this stuff. So this is a lot of fun to play around with. Anyway, thank you as always for choosing to spend some of your day with me. I enjoyed hanging out with you, even though it was virtual and I can't see you. I know you're out there. As always, um, if you are not subscribed, please rectify that right now down there. Click, it's free. We have a good time and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.